panda. Yeah. I got brides in Atlanta. <laughs> she took the lead in the family. <laughs> Credit cards in the scammers. <laughs> Getting the licks in the band. Legacy. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again today. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. 
So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. It's not great for the gas tank, but not good for the old You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Nice body kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one He's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponents can't take many of them. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Right here on point. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh, misses with the jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of. Oh! Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice leg kick land. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Manov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right on the button. Misses with that punch. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, big right hand, yes. Gotta shore up the defense here. Oh, huge block! Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten seconds to go in round one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, oh. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Max. Went for the inside leg kick. Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful body kick. Oh, how clean is that jab by Nurmagomedov? Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. there. Punches blocks. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice jab. Falls it up with a nice right hand. Expecting it, and Habib lands early and he lands often. Big punch lands through the middle. So, a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, and so crisp. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Nermago Metal. Oh, what a shot right on the button. Oh, the shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Nice punch, Lance. Ooh, head kick, Lance. He's hurt. World of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the park. All right, whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice punch there by Nermago Medov. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Such a fast leg kick. Misses again with a right punch. Right here, landed. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice punch there. Oh, good combination. Clean with the right hook. Time the shots pretty well. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Trying to double up on that jab. Ball. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Third round underway. Blocks the shot. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not oh! Just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Chico! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.